Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Devyan, and welcome to my channel, Learnium, where we learn and discuss with a lot of fun. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about that why voltmeter is always connected in parallel and why ammeter is connected in series, right? So that is what we are going to discuss now. Let's begin. Okay, so let's just begin with ammeter here, right? So we have ammeter. Now you just tell me, right? So what is the purpose of ammeter? Well, it is very easy that ammeter is a device which is used to measure the voltage. Hey, before you hit the dislike button, let me tell you that ammeter is used to measure the current, right? Okay, so since we know that, now it makes a lot of sense that ammeter must have very low resistance so that all the current can pass through it and after that we can measure the actual current because if that's not the case means if ammeter has high resistance it means all the current will not pass through it and we are not measuring the actual current and we don't want that right so it makes a lot of sense that ammeter must have very low resistance so we humans have designed ammeter in such a way that it has very 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 low resistance right and it is very low so we can call it negligible or we can also call it zero resistance right so after all this we have a final conclusion that ammeter is a device which has zero resistance now we are leaving it here only we will come back to it now after this i would like to directly jump on explaining you about how current flows in parallel connection and if you are wondering why i am switching the topics here and there well don't worry everything is going to be fine you just sit and relax and just keep listening to whatever i am saying with full concentration you will understand everything right so here you can see that we have a very simple looking parallel connection of resistors right so let's say that we have some voltage v and some current i over here now the i current will start from the battery and it will move on now look at that point we have point a over there so at that point a the current has two choices like it can go either that way or that way hey current has to make a decision what do you think where it will go well uh, just for right now let's put yourself in the place of current right so you are standing at certain point and you have two parts right so you have to decide where to go now the one thing we can do that we can ask one person over there so you can go to him and you can ask hey can you please tell me that which path is going to be better for me so he will tell you hey that path you know the roads are not good there so you should choose that path you will there you will get a very good highway so you will definitely want to choose that path with a great highway so that you can have a really good journey right so that's what your decision is going to be the path with less trouble and more comfort isn't it so now similarly the current also wants to take the path with less trouble and more comfort right so the current which is right now at the point a he will think that okay if i go that way i will got two ohm resistor okay and if i go that way i will get five ohm resistor so here you can clearly see that current would like to go through the path of 2 ohm resistor right there he will get less trouble in its path so the journey is going to be more comfortable so what current do let's say we have 7 ampere of current right so out of 7 ampere 5 ampere of current will flow through the part of 2 ohm resistor right and what is the remaining current now yes it is 2 ampere so the remaining 2 ampere of current will flow from the path of 5 ohm resistor right so i hope that all these things are very very clear to you okay so i hope that you got a basic idea 
that how current flows in a parallel connection right so now let's just come back to our emitter over here right so till now we know that emitter have zero resistance and it is being told that emitter should always be connected in series but now let's just try to do something else right you are telling us that it should be connected in series let's just try to connect that in parallel we will see what's gonna happen right so let's just try to do that so we have connected emitter in parallel and here you can see what is happening oh my god that is going crazy right so can you see what has happened here well if you didn't understood what actually happened so i'm gonna explain you this so here we have a parallel connection so at one path we have one resistor but at another path we have emitter which has zero resistance right so uh, let's say again i current is flowing in our circuit and at that point a again it has a choice like it has two paths and it has to decide where to go so we have already seen that the current will choose a path with less trouble and the current sees that if i choose the path with emitter there i will got zero resistance right so 99% of current decides to flow through the path of emitter and here what you can see that what is going to happen and we definitely don't want this in our circuit right because most of the current is flowing that way and we don't want this so that is the reason why emitter must be connected in series and i hope that it was very very clear to all of you now once we are done with that now voltmeter is left right but before i tell you i would like you to think about it so can you now think about the reason that why voltmeter is always connected in parallel well one hint i would like to give you is that that you just have to think just opposite of what we did in emitter so just try to think opposite of it you will definitely get the answer okay so do you got your answer that why voltmeter is connected in parallel well if you got then that's it for this video right so that's it hey i'm just joking so i i'm going to explain you this if you then understood the reason okay so see what is the purpose of voltmeter well voltmeter is used to measure the voltage right so in this case like we don't want current to pass through it right why do we need current to pass through it because we are measuring the voltage right and if we are letting current pass through it like we are just waiting our current like we are just wasting our current sorry right so we don't want current to pass through it and it also makes sense that for that to happen voltmeter must have very high resistance right so if voltmeter have very high resistance like the current won't be able to pass through it so we humans have made voltmeter such that it has very high resistance or we can also call that it has infinitely high resistance yes really so voltmeter is like super insulator yes so a current will come and it like at no chance like there's no chance of current to pass through the voltmeter right now it is being told that voltmeter must be connected in parallel now what if we connect voltmeter in series what's going to happen yes definitely uh, since we know that it has very high resistance the current will stop at there like it would not flow because instead of voltmeter you can imagine a wood right if uh, so in between our circuit if you place a wood over there we all know that wood doesn't conduct the electricity so our current will not flow our circuit is not complete here because there is no path for electron to flow right so similarly like the voltmeter is uh, will also act in the similar way as the wood did right so, so again we can say that we don't want this like why do we want to stop our current so that is the reason that why voltmeter must be connected in parallel 
and if we will connect that parallelly see what's gonna happen again we have again we will have point a over there and again current have two choices and now this time current will don't want to flow through the path of voltmeter because there it has like infinitely high resistance like current don't want infinite trouble in its way right so most of the current or we can say that 99 of the current 99% of the current will flow from the path of the simple resistor right so that is the reason why voltmeter must be connected in parallel so i hope that you understood all of that and if you are wondering that how we are going to write such question in exam like you have told us that ammeter must be connected in series because if we try to connect that parallel it has going to happen and that is the reason so how how do we write that in exam well you don't worry because in exam they are not going to ask such question because even in the book like they have just written that ammeter should be connected in series and voltmeter and so on and so on like they don't try to explain and the books want you to directly believe hey this is happening and like this just happened and you just believe it but we don't do it like we just try to go into depth and try to understand the concept so if you are that kind of a student who wants to learn because you are curious about the topic about the things which are happening around you then you should subscribe to my channel because that is what we do here right so i hope that you understood this if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel for such more informative videos thank you very much for watching i'll meet you in the next video thank you very much